In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of VidChops. If you are a YouTuber or you do video and you are in the market for a video editor, well, I'm gonna give you the inside scoop from an active user on Vid. Chops. Guys, what's up? I'm Frank. This is the Digital Boss Life. What I do is help you build a powerful brand and flex your money making muscles online with affiliate marketing. Today, we are talking video editing and the video editing company called VidChops, which may be something that you're looking into, which is probably why you clicked on the video, right? And full disclosure on this review right here, I am an active user of VidChops. So you can take that for what it's worth but what i'm going to do is take you behind the scenes here and show you exactly how the whole process works and i think the big question is is are you at the point in your business where you're thinking about outsourcing your video editing right and for me personally i want to focus on my strengths not my weaknesses so being in front of the camera and you know making videos is, is what i do i don't want to spend hours of my time editing video so i choose to outsource it and most guys Guys online try to do everything themselves in their business and this ends up slowing them up and actually hurting you now what I like to focus on is high income skills that's what I've been taught by top mentors in the game still trying to you know I'm a little hard head and still trying to figure out how to actually implement that but you want to focus on high income skills things that actually put money into your business and if you're a person that's on camera like this it's probably more of communication based skills as a matter of fact i will link to a video where i talk about the five high income skills however it's probably not video editing which is why i choose to outsource this task again so i don't spend hours doing it i'll let the pros handle that and i can go back to focusing on working on my business and not in my business so if you are at the point of thinking about outsourcing your video editing task you my friend are in a great place so let's Let's take you behind the scenes. All right, guys, here we are on the VidChops homepage here with the pricing. By the way, if you are interested in the VidChop service, I will leave a link down below for you to check it out. I'll have a money back guarantee. If you don't like a service for whatever reason, you can ask for a full refund within the first 14 days. So that's pretty cool. Here's the pricing plans and packages, right? It's 325 for basically four edited videos, three revisions per video, which is probably more than you'll need, usually more than what I need. 595 for eight to 12 videos, 995 for 16 to 20 videos, uh, per month and uh, it looks like with this package you get two dedicated video editors so two people working on your videos because obviously you're 16 to 20 you're doing uh, you know multiple per week so that's pretty cool right so you guys can go through a lot of this stuff but that's basically the pricing and just for reference I mean I used to pay a video editor a hundred dollars per video not everyone is gonna pay that much for a video editor this is with my uh, fitness page and YouTube channel a couple of years back when I had a gym it was a, a local individual so certainly many people can get these services for less but the big question is are you gonna work with a team specifically dedicated to YouTube right Augie is the owner and they work with some big time youtubers right because augie uh he had his own youtube channel for multiple years and built that up to over 100,000 subscribers so he had been doing videos for years and now he put an entire team of video editors together for again some of the bigger names in youtube so they do this specifically for youtubers which is pretty cool and again for the price and the efficiency of the way it works which i'll show you in a second pretty good right so that's the pricing right there you guys can check it out again link down below let's head over here to the portal so this is basically the portal and when you sign up with them you're going to get an intake call where they just kind of figure out uh what's your goal with your channel who's your target market wh what is the look and feel that you're going for with your videos who do you want to emulate and model they're going to get all that information and then they're going to start working with you and it's basically as simple as they're going to give you a dropbox folder Okay, and this is a video I just did, so I'll show you that in a second. You're just gonna upload your video that you take to the Dropbox folder, whether it be on your phone or on your desktop, on your computer, however you do it. I do a lot of stuff from my phone, so I just upload from my phone, and then I just hit this plus button, and then uh, you just fill out this information right here. You're gonna put the title of the video, you're gonna give them the link to the Dropbox on, on where it is, which is pretty much the same every time. You're gonna give them the format, right? What type of content is for it? You know, usually a YouTube video can be for other things as well, right? Voice notes, right? So you could tell them specifically uh, through voice so they hear you. You know, mess, don't mess this up. That's usually what I say. Don't screw this up. That's what I tell them. Are there any special instructions for the video? 
right? And then do you want to repurpose this video? So they actually send you, they actually send you multiple versions when you're done. So even the smallest package, uh, you get the you get the YouTube version, and then I usually get the square, and you get two you get max two right here, right? And I get the uh, IGTV vertical version. So you get multiple versions of that one video, right? So you can repurpose this information for other places like Facebook, Instagram, uh, and even TikTok, right? With the vertical video. And then do you have any uh, additional instructions? You can put all that stuff here. Then you just hit create and sends, okay? And then you wait. And then about 24 hours later, you're gonna get one of these messages. Okay, well, when you send it, you'll get a message right away that says that they got it and they're ready to go. Then about 24 hours later, they say it takes two days, but usually for me, it's about 24 hours later, I'll get a message that the video is ready. And then they'll send me this right here. Okay, they've, they've done the editing. I do a lot of jump cuts, right? I do a lot of jump cuts. So they've edited this whole video. Uh, and added some baseline things. And now what I'm gonna do, video, I'm gonna give you seven quick I'm tips gonna look to through the video. Money online and with your affiliate marketing. Let's get to it. In this video, I'm putting together a random collection of ideas for you to build a more powerful brand and sell more stuff online. Right, I'm gonna skip forward just a little bit just to give you an example. Number one is the money is in the follow up. So very often people don't really all right, so I'm just giving seven random tips here, but basically I can I go through the whole video, what would take me hours to edit, right? And do edit all those jump cuts. They've done that for me. So now I'm just gonna go through the video. It's 9.57 and in about 10 more minutes, I'm gonna go through the video and anytime I want them to play something like some text, an image, anything that I want in the video, I'm just gonna go type it right here, right? I'm not gonna do that right now because I haven't gone through this video fully, but, and I don't wanna take too much time, but that's the way it goes. I literally just go through, just take 10 minutes, what they can do in, in much less time than I could do. Now I'm gonna go through again, 10 minutes and just tell them, when I might want something in the video, whatever that is, right? Text, image, okay, sound. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tell them right here, and it just go, it just goes second by second through the video, and they get all of the notes, and then I send it back to them. I ask for a, uh, a revision, right? So if I go here, right, click revision, and then again, about 24 hours later, it's back to me. I'll check it again. And usually, I, I ask for you know one revision. If I wanted to, I can go two and three. If you're asking for three revisions, you're probably overthinking your work too much. Okay, but once that's done, again, I'm gonna get an email here, okay, and they're gonna tell me uh, that it's finished. I'll go through and I'll check it one more time. If I like it, boom, I download it, we're done, right? I'll go back to the portal and just click done here. So when it's done, I can just mark it's done and they know it's done. And it's really that simple. Again, I really like it because you have actual, you know, people that work on YouTube videos, right? They know, they know exactly how to edit, how to do the jump cuts, how to put the images, how to put the text on the video. And when I want something extra, it's really as simple as coming into here and just, just combing through the video a little bit and now telling them exactly what I want them to put. And then 24 hours later, they're gonna have it back to me. Really cool, really efficient. Portal is really simple to use. Anytime I wanna go uh, add a new video, I just hit this plus sign right here. And that's pretty much it, right? So now I'm working on this video right here. I'm just gonna kind of comb through this. Uh, and if I see some edits that I want them to make, I'm gonna send it back to them and they're gonna get it back to me by tomorrow. And that's what I like about the service, right? I don't have to spend hours and hours doing this. I can just record it. And then a couple more minutes of my time to go through and make sure it's completely lead to my liking, send it over to them. They send it back to me within 24 hours. I got one person that's working on all my videos. So he knows my style. He knows what I'm looking for. And again, just makes it very, very cool and efficient. Here's a, here's a finished video right here. Let me go back a little bit. Until in a few short weeks on TikTok, here's a finished video uh, on YouTube. Followers. But the thing about it, it's, you know, it's, it's always changing. And we gotta make sure we keep up with those changes, right? Because when TikTok pumps out a new feature, the faster that you jump on it, the faster you're going to grow. And I'm going to do you one better. And All right. So you see just a bunch of, you just make me look way cooler than I actually am, right? Which is the big key, right? And that's what we're looking for uh, on YouTube. So that's a look behind the scenes of VidShops. Again, I think it's pretty uh, efficient, works very quickly, very easy for me to do within Dropbox, within their portal. I get email updates when everything's finished. Really cool service, uh, makes my life easy. Again, if you guys are interested, hit that link down below.
All right, guys, so that's the insider scoop on VidChops. Again, I find it to be a very valuable, good, and efficient service for a great price. I've paid video editors more. You can certainly find someone to pay less, but with VidChops, you are working with someone that's YouTube specific and has a team of editors that know exactly how to create content for this platform. So if you're interested in checking out the service, I will leave a link down below. And again, the big question I think you're asking yourself is if I'm gonna save myself multiple hours per week on video editing, doing something that's not a huge money-making thing for my business, what can I do with those hours and what money-making things can I put those hours towards? If you truly understand that trade-off, then VidChops can be a great option for you. Again, link down below. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, listen, head down below in the comment section. Let me know uh, what you do with your video editing. Do you do it all yourself? Are you an awesome video editor? Do you suck and you kind of like strain to do it? Or are you looking to outsource this? As always, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you get more information like this coming right to you guys. I'm Frank. This is the Digital Boss Life and I look forward to catching up with you on the next video.